It's nearly days since the Key House opened again, so it's time to take a sneak peek at its cast's private lives. Learn why fans should stop shipping Amelia Jones and Connor Jessup. Discover the reason why Liza de Oliveira keeps her love life a secret. And find out why 2020 was actually a great year for Patrice Jones. Does anybody else want to see? Let's start with the Locke siblings. Jackson Robert Scott as Bodie Locke. The actor who plays the youngest of the Locke siblings is now 13 years old. Despite his young age, he is already an experienced actor. He played Georgie in the two-part film adaption of Stephen King's It and had small parts in episodes of Fear the Walking Dead and Criminal Minds. But Scott doesn't want to be typecast as just a horror actor. That's why fun-loving, adventurous Bodhi is his favorite role so far. Moreover, his character isn't too different from how Scott sees himself. Just like the young actor, Bodhi constantly cracks jokes, rides a pair of Heelys around the house, and is obsessed with bacon. Great work today, bud. Get some rest, yeah? Thank you. I'll try. Aloha! In fact, according to Scott's mom, the makers of Lock and Key tailored this script to mesh with her son's upbeat personality. Besides the fact that he started acting at age 5 and became a successful actor at 11, Jackson is a pretty normal kid. He loves spending time with his friends, and his favorite subject in school is physical education. But considering the amount of time Scott spends on set, he has missed a lot of school and has an on-set tutor to help him while he's filming. Now, let's move on to Bodie's older sister, Amelia Jones as Kinsey Locke. Although Amelia has been acting since she was eight, Kinsey is her first big TV role. She revealed at the time that she was attracted to the role because she could play two versions of the same character, namely the Kinsey who fights her fears and Kinsey after she removes them. Amazingly, during the filming of the first season of Lock and Key, Amelia managed to find the time to prepare for her next role in the comedy drama film Coda. In it, she plays the only hearing member of her family, who dreams of going to Berkeley. And in order to play the part, Jones spent nine months learning sign language. When Amelia's not acting, she spends her downtime practicing guitar and wandering around London. But it seems like the days of her anonymous meandering are numbered, because after finishing shooting Lock and Key, Jones was already booked for her next movie. She's going to take on the lead role in Cat Person, based on the New Yorker story that went viral in the wake of the Me Too movement. And that's quite a success at just 19. No wonder Amelia doesn't have time for dating, although fans were actively shipping her with her Lock and Key co-star, Connor Jessup. Both of them added fuel to the fire by frequently posting pictures together. But the fact is that these two are not an item. Keep watching to find out why. Connor Jessup as Tyler Locke the eldest brother of Kinsey and Bodie is portrayed by a 27-year-old Canadian actor. Before Lock and Key, Connor appeared in other successful projects. For example, fans of the sci-fi show Falling Skies will recognize him as Ben Mason. However, Jessup sees himself as a director in the future. Connor revealed that directing is where his heart and mind are. Over the past decade, he has written, produced, and directed a number of short films and is not stopping anytime soon. But let's get back to the status of his love life. This info might be disappointing to lots of girls who have have a crush on him. But in 2019, Jessup came out as gay via his Instagram. He also announced that he's in a relationship with actor Miles Heiser. They've officially been a couple for about 18 months already, and it looks like they are very happy together. Next, let's talk a little bit about the adult actors of the show. Darby Stanchfield as Nina Locke. The actress has quite a few acting credits to her name, including roles in Mad Men, NCIS, and Scandal. Despite being in the spotlight for years, Darby has managed to keep a low profile. For example, it became known that Stanchfield is married a whole six years after her wedding. Darby tied the knot with Joseph Mark Galagos in 2009. Galagos is a former executive at the world's largest entertainment and content marketing agency, and he's also a founder of his own marketing and content agency. Darby and her man are rarely seen together in public, and are pretty tight-lipped about their relationship. However, the actress did gush a bit about her personal life once. When asked if she had any advice for how women can stay happy and healthy, the star shared her secret. I think for me, at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day, taking a moment to be really grateful for all the good in my life. Now, we have some information about season one guest stars who have been promoted to season two regulars. Aaron Ashmore as Duncan Locke. Just to be clear, Aaron wasn't in the X-Men movies. That was his identical twin brother, Sean. Say Iceman, and you're just like, 
Hi, you know, yeah, yeah. If it's in passing, I just kind of wave. If they're actually stopping to talk to you, then you sort of have to be like, no, that's not me, that's my brother. Aaron is best known for his roles in Smallville and Killjoys. In 2014, Aaron married his long-term girlfriend, Zoe Kate. The couple's first daughter was born two years later, and in 2019, they welcomed their second baby girl. Aaron shared the happy news on Twitter, posting a sweet picture of him cradling the new arrival. And another character who will feature more prominently this season is Eden, Halea Jones as Eden Hawkins. In her early 20s, Halea is a famous model, actor, musician, singer and songwriter, blogger, Instagram star, influencer, and uh, whew, we're out of titles. But we know her first and foremost as the girl who got hit by a demonic bullet in the first season's finale. Despite being so active on social media, Jones is actually quite secretive about her love life. In fact, she's never revealed anything about her previous or present relationships. Well, let's hope that she will share some more details with us in the future as we get to know her lock and key character more. Now, let's get back to the main cast members. Griffin Gluck as Gabe. Gluck is not new to starring in critically acclaimed shows. He played Sam Eklund on American Vandal, Charlie on the short-lived Red Band Society, and Mason Warner on Private Practice. However, that's not what interests us most. He is 21, handsome, and talented. So, is Griffin dating anyone? In 2019, Gluck met actress and singer Sabrina Carpenter on the set of the movie Tall Girl. Despite never addressing their relationship status directly, the pair posted dozens of adorable snaps on social media. They even even went as the iconic denim-clad Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake for Halloween, and were also caught cozying up at a 2020 Golden Globes party. Unfortunately, they didn't last long. A source close to Carpenter confirmed that the pair split in August 2020, and fans guessed as much since the actress is known for removing pictures of her exes from her social media. So that means Griffin Gluck doesn't have a girlfriend right now. Fortunately, that's not the case for his co-star, who plays quite a sinister character. Liza de Oliveira as Dodge for this Canadian-Brazilian actress, the role of the woman in the well is definitely the biggest project she's been involved in to date. Although she previously guest starred on the X-Men spin-off The Gifted and in Netflix's horror In the Tall Grass, among other shows. Liza de Oliveira started her career in 2012, the same year she started dating her boyfriend, Jonathan Keltz. They met on the set of a movie named Acquainted, and every year, on the 6th of March, the couple celebrate their anniversary. It seems like they are pretty serious, as they've been together for eight years. And from what we can see from Instagram, they have traveled to different destinations worldwide, including Brazil, Paris, Italy, and many more. So who knows? We might hear wedding bells soon. Next, let's talk about Kinsey Locke's love interest, Patrice Jones as Scott Cavendish. His character in the series is a British student filmmaker at Matheson Academy. In real life, Patrice is an actor and model from England, and he is currently 28 years old. Jones is another cast member who tries to keep his personal life out of the spotlight. However, we know that he has been dating a girl named Sophie Esperanza for almost two years. Patrice revealed in his Instagram that although 2020 was a tough year for everyone, it was the greatest time of his life because he met the love of his life and a real-life angel. Now, let's move on to the actress who portrays the love interest of another Locke sibling, Genevieve Kang as Jackie Veda. Jackie is one of the most resolute and consistent characters on the show, and she loves it, especially as she is used to playing mean girls. But Kang revealed that this time, the Lock and Key showrunner took her aside and told her that her character was going to be the moral compass of the whole show. At the moment, Genevieve is seriously focused on her career and says that she'd love to move on to more realistic storytelling. Still, Lock and Key is a really nice balance, because although it has supernatural, horror, and fantasy elements, it also ties into some very real realistic stuff about family and friendship dynamics. On the other hand, Kang is tight-lipped about her private life, but will continue to keep a close eye on this beautiful and talented actress. And that's all for today, although we have to mention that Brendan Hines has joined as a series regular as the new charismatic and mysterious history teacher with a secret agenda. Also, a new, dangerous adversary for the Locke family is played by Kevin Durand, and there will be new scenes with the late Rendell Locke, played by Bill Heck. So, let us know if you want to find out more about these actors too. Check out our other videos about your favorite shows and stay super awesome!